What if business could be done in a way that protects our most important natural resources? What if restoring the environment was just as important as turning a profit? What if we could transform unemployed fishing communities into sustainable farmers? Well, guess what? We're doing just that. Hey, I'm Dave Grossman from Panacea Aquaculture. We have a sustainable sea cucumber farm right here in Panama. Why are sea cucumbers important, you may ask? Sea cucumbers have been a delicacy in China since the Ming Dynasty. They've been around a long time. Why do people in China and other Asian countries love sea cucumbers? Well, they're a superfood. They're really great for you. They're good for joint pain. They have some aphrodisiac qualities and they taste delicious. They're low in calories and fat and high in protein. They contain antioxidants are an excellent source of calcium, magnesium, iron, and zinc. In Chinese cuisine, there's a lot of different ways that you can eat them with noodles, sauteed, but the most important thing is that they're delicious and they're really good for you. And it is the most inexpensive protein source that we can grow other than crickets. So that's what brings us here to Panacea Aquaculture in Panama. We're growing sea cucumbers to offer a sustainable product to the unbridled growth of Chinese demand. Currently, we're focusing on selling directly into the Chinese market, but we believe that there's a very strong future in actually creating products for the Western markets as well. With the changing needs of the world, we expect that sea cucumbers can have a very important place at the table moving forward for people from every corner of the earth. Sea cucumbers are really a pillar of the reef ecosystem. The sea cucumbers are like the earthworms of the sea as nutrition and sediment and fish poop filters down to the sea bottom. Sea cucumbers eat all that dirty sand and what comes out the other side is clean sand with calcium carbonate and ammonia, which are the building blocks for coral reefs. As a result, sea cucumbers actually help buffer against ocean acidification. So with increasing incidence of coral reef bleaching all around the world, we need to get these sea cucumbers back into the water. That's where we come in. Because of the rising demand in China over the last 30 years, sea cucumbers have been overfished all around the world. Billions and billions of sea cucumbers have been taken out of the water and there's been nobody cultivating sea cucumbers to repopulating them. As a result, the price has gone sky high for these tropical sea cucumbers and now we are one of the only providers that's actually producing a sustainable alternative for this sea cucumber. So we're working in an area that has already been overfished. There's very few sea cucumbers in the water in this area. When we put a juvenile sea cucumber or seed it into the area, um, that's bringing this life back to the ecosystem. And that is there to stay because once we take out a portion of these to be processed, they're always replaced with another juvenile sea cucumber. So we are actively repopulating the region. We're also having peripheral and secondary repopulation because many of the adults that we have in the water are going to be releasing sperm and egg and reproducing naturally as well. So there's going to be a lot of sea cucumbers being repopulated through our efforts. Compared to other forms of aquaculture, sea cucumber farming is actually very non-intensive in terms of the resources that we need. We don't have to feed them anything other than algae. Algae is created in our hatchery just using the power of the sun. And once they're in the water, in the marine environment, we don't have to feed them anything. They're just eating the algae and the other detritus and nutrition that's been falling through the water column. It's very useful for them to do that because without sea cucumbers, you have that algae build up and up, and eventually you'll have algae blooms which bring down the oxygen content in the water. We're a triple bottom line business, which means that yes, while we are technically for profit, creating real impact in the communities where we work and in the marine ecosystem we work are just as important. We're working in an area that's relatively impoverished compared to the rest of Panama. These are coastal fishing communities and with the decline of the coral reefs and the fisheries, there's many people who are out of work here. 
So we're taking this opportunity not to teach a man or a woman to fish, but to teach a man or a woman to farm. This is their neck of the woods and they know every little corner of it here. So we're working with them to create jobs and make sure that everybody's participating in this great activity. Thanks so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We're here to show that sustainable business is not just possible, but that it's really fun too. We're here with friends and colleagues, swimming, diving, surfing, having barbecues, playing music. And if you're interested to come and check us out, we're always interested in collaborations, scientists, business people, yoga teachers, chefs. Hey, come on down and join the fun and help us save the world together.